I think just overall, they made shots uh, that first quarter. I think besides that, uh, maybe a six-point differential for the rest of the three quarters. So that first quarter was uh, huge in them establishing confidence and us uh, playing catch-up. Um, some rotations-wise where we uh, gave Grimes some early looks that got him going a little bit where we shouldn't have had. Uh, but overall, you give them credit for making shots. You mentioned about Brigitte Brunson putting two guys on putting bodies on him. Yeah, just overall, his ability to get to his spot and um, uh, really make you know contested shots and, and get to different angles on the floor. Um, again, another good game by him. Give him credit for that. Uh, we try some different things against him, and uh, we'll continue to try things going forward with our with our group. Jacques, I know you're not into excuses. You talk about the difficulty kind of having to play a catcher, but the first quarter, I mean, this was the second night of a back to back. You know, you guys were in it last night, three quarters and some changes. Do you think? It all was a factor. You know, Alex, it's interesting. I mean, uh, you know, I talked about uh, us being able to sustain, you know, last night against a very physical team, big team. Uh, that's going to be our challenge. I mean, we really have to look at each game individually and try to give the best that we have and all that we have. We did that last night. Um, Maybe some consequences pay for that. Uh, we definitely stretched our guys some minutes, especially that starting five. Uh, so I'll have to assess if, if we can continue to do that. Uh, strategic about playing back-to-backs. We don't have uh, too many left, but um, um, great challenge for our group. Well, we need everybody, and uh, that's going to be who we are going forward. And obviously, you, know, you guys are ready to kind of a smaller team. I mean, how much of the lengths do you think gave you guys problems between Hardenstein, Randall, Robinson, et cetera? Yeah, and traditionally they play pretty big. You know, just Randall's just a, a big guy at the, at the four spot. And, uh, you know, we have been going, you know, pretty small with Doe at five. We tried it again tonight, and uh, I think that's why you saw Dayron kind of in the mix as a big. We just needed a big on the, on the floor pretty much at all times. So uh, definitely the length and the size uh, was something we had to deal with. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Ping pong, that thing. How's the morale of the group right now? I mean, it's been some tough losses. Yeah. 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 We we have some competitive guys, and so uh, they are concerned about winning. Uh, we always we've made that the priority. We're not hiding from that. We're trying to win every single game, uh, and so I ask that we give just more. And what that means, whether it's more time together, uh, back-to-backs, shoot-arounds, recovery days, all of the above, we're going to have to give more to, to bring our group together quicker than, than normal. Um, but they're human beings. Uh, to give up 142 points uh, to your crosstown uh, team, that hurts. And it should hurt. And uh, I asked them at halftime to, uh, if it did hurt as a group, uh, the care factor uh, rising to a different level, it, it should hurt. To that point, I mean, your team profiles pretty well defensively. Has the defense come along maybe slower than you anticipated? You know, we tried some different things schematically tonight and uh, to get a look at it. And uh, there were some positives and some negatives about it. Uh, we just haven't had time to practice that. We'll use some opportunities going forward to practice uh, different schemes because we'll need it going forward. Um, I'm learning the strengths and weaknesses of this group, not uh, where their previous stops were. Uh, it's the culmination of this group together and what it presents. So uh, I am learning that, and uh, my job is to convince them to, uh, to buy into us doing it together. Go ahead. No. <laughs> back at you. No, similar to that. Just, you know, beyond the physical part of back to back, the emotional part of it when you throw so much of the team last night and then you come out tonight and the team is red hot like that was, do you know like even as much as my guys fight, this is going to be a, you know, this might break them early a little bit? Yeah, I tried to use all those timeouts pretty early to, to uh, somehow get our group to, uh, to think about the challenge. Um, the, the way I'm built, I just look at it as part of the schedule. And a tough part of the schedule, and we just got to deal with it. We got another game in another day or so, and, and a tough team, and we just got to deal with it. And I think that's what's the importance of everyone rallying around each other and doing their part and really diving into each possession mattering for us, uh, whether it's a transition break, whether it's a missed offensive rebound, whether it's a pass that's not on time, on target. Uh, we got to get this group to buy into each possession, meaning something for us. Uh, because of the way our, built, uh, our team is built. Jack, going off the 
Tonight was game 62, so there's 20 games, you know, roughly a quarter of the season left. I mean, just as you guys go into this last stretch, aside from kind of figuring out what works and what doesn't with this group, what do you think is going to be key to kind of stay either in that top six or just playoff standing? Yeah, we really got to take a step defensively. Uh, you know, we were all concerned about us uh, scoring and, and putting up points, and uh, I think we have enough firepower to do that. Um, but we have to take our defensive, you know, mindset to a, to a different level. Uh, we have to be extremely, you know, confident in guarding the guy in front of you and take pride in doing that because uh, that's the p first part of our defense. Jack, I'm sorry if you were asked this already, but Ben, has already been ruled out for Friday? Uh, Ben's out for Friday.